Good morning, distinguished participants and stakeholders who are in this program today. Thank you very much for joining. I also want to start by not just welcoming you, but apologizing for my absence uh, from this program. And the next important thing is to congratulate the project team of uh, the Pacific Disability Forum and the Fiji Disability People's Federation. The, um, an understanding of not just these natural uh, events and phenomena, Rather, it also requires an understanding of the social systems, the economic and political contexts in which decisions related to prevention, relief, recovery, and reconstruction are taken, or decisions related to adaptation technologies, adaptation measures are taken. This study shows that uh, across the countries, village committees, people with disabilities have not been present. While theoretically it may still be possible to have your issues raised and addressed, uh, despite lack of representation, regrettably that is not the situation most of the times. And this exclusion from decision making the lack of representation affects how facilities are designed, services are offered, ability to access those services or facilities, including healthcare, uh, hygiene and sanitation. And of course, it has a bearing on uh, people ability to earn an income, to have a livelihood. And these issues become much more complicated for persons with disabilities. We cannot say this is a prejudice, perhaps uh, it is an unintended element of not thinking about how physical or intellectual mm, abilities or disabilities impact one's well-being and why it is important to hear from all sections of society including persons with disabilities. This kind of study is important for informing uh, policy and also for bringing out uh, not just the risk of uh, exclusion, rather also to bring together people like yourselves the stakeholders who are working on disaster risk reduction or climate change mitigation or adaptation to consider what may be those ways in which people with disabilities may be included and given representation and where re required have leadership to determine what should be done and how should or how it should be done so that 
the measures and efforts being made are also inclusive of all. I think it's important that you do not just validate the findings, but you also discuss some recommendations which would allow a community of practitioners like yourselves to develop uh, response me measures or to ensure that people with disabilities are not left out. There are several frameworks, guidelines, which uh, talk about or provide standards for inclusion of people with disabilities, including uh, the sphere standards and those of you who are working in uh, uh, disaster response related work would be familiar with it. I think what is needed is to recognize that similar efforts are need, needed to ensure uh, inclusion and decision making uh, by the people of disabilities or people with disabilities to address issues uh, that are not conducive to their well-being and that arise uh, as a result of uh, slow onset disasters and climate change. As you may well be aware that this study was undertaken in consultation with the regional stakeholders and it contributes to the uh, aims of the uh, Pacific Framework for the Rights of uh, Persons with Disabilities 2016-2025 uh, uh, because it's enhancing the evidence base which is needed for informing policy and practice in the Pacific. At the global level, initiatives like this uh, come under the uh, uh, collaborative effort uh, among UN organizations, governments and uh, organizations of people with disabilities as well as civil society uh, organizations which may not necessarily be disability issue centered but in general take a human rights approach to policy and programming and uh, the study contributes in a way to operationalization of that partnership because uh, it's bringing the idea of partnership to work at the level of country, to work at the level of uh, Pacific sub-region. And I do hope that a partnership would emerge out of these discussions and as a consequence of uh, this study that would lead to a drive or a movement for inclusion of uh, persons with a disability in climate change related efforts as well as in uh, disaster risk reduction efforts. Of course, we want to make sure that relief, recovery and reconstruction efforts also take these various aspects into account. So thank you very much for the opportunity to address you a little bit uh, electronically but I would like to share our pleasure and our gratitude to our partners for this collaboration as well as to you for 
your commitment and decisions that you would make today and tomorrow. Thank you.